Okay, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a custom header for your WordPress page. Once we get that done, your page is going to look instantly much more professional. I'm also going to maybe show you, if I have time, how to clean up this sidebar. Um, it's cluttered the way it's set up now and it doesn't look good. Who knows, I may end up getting into some other things as well. Today we're going to work on making a custom header for our site. So far what we have is this. I went ahead and added a little bit of my own text on the home page, which you should also do. And now I want to put a custom header right here. So I think this is one thing you can do that will instantly make your site look more professional. So how do you do it? Well, go to your dashboard and then we will hover over appearance and then click on themes. The first thing you need to do is click on header. This screen will come up. It's telling you that you can select an image to be shown at the top of your site. It gives you a suggested width, 960 by 250. So I'm going to click browse and I'm going to pick an image from my computer. Before I do that actually, I'm going to go to Picasa. And if you don't have Picasa, you really should get Picasa because it's an awesome quick photo editing program and you can do so much with it. And it's such a great photo organizer as well. It's just amazing. I, I should probably do a tutorial just on Picasa someday. But anyway, if you don't have Picasa, go to Google, type in Picasa. This will come up. Go ahead and click on Picasa and then click on download Picasa and install it. You will be glad you did. Anyway, let's go back to Picasa where I was. So I'm going to browse through my images here and I'm going to pick an image. How about this one of Seattle here with the Space Needle in the background? Remember, they suggested an image size of 960 by 250. We can easily do that in Picasa. Here's the image I'm going to use. I'm going to go ahead and select Crop. When I do that, I'll have all these different crop ratios that I can use. But I'm going to pick on Add Custom Aspect Ratio. And I'm going to put in my own dimensions in here. And those dimensions were 960 by 250. And I'll call it WordPress header and then I'll click OK. So there we go. There's my crop. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. OK. We will click apply then. And here we have an image that is 960 by 250. But it looks a little dark to me so I'm just going to click auto contrast. Oh that looks better already. Uh, I wouldn't mind a little vignetting on the edges to make the space needle stand out a little bit so I'll click this little link at the top here. Actually, that's the wrong one. I will click this link and there's vignette right there. There's a lot of other cool uh, features in here. I'm going to make the size a little smaller, strength a little more, and you can pick the fade too, but I don't want it to be dark on the edges. I think that looks pretty cool there. And then you have to click apply. Now, there are a lot of other cool um, options in here that you can use. Um, you know, just explore Picasso when you have a chance and try some of these things. It's, it's an awesome program. Anyway, once you get the image you want, go ahead and on the bottom click export and then pick a place you want to put it. I'll put it on my desktop in a folder called uh, WordPress header and I'll click export and I'll make sure that this says resize to and then I just put 960 pixels in there. That'll be its width and then I click export. Now this picture is on my desktop in a folder called WordPress header. So let's go ahead back to our site and now we're going to click browse and we are going to browse to that to that folder that we created called WordPress header and we're going to double click it and we're going to double click our image that we created and we're going to click upload. Okay, here's our image. Now we can crop the image more using the WordPress crop tool, but why do that? We already have a perfect image. So we will just select skip cropping, publish image as is. Now let's go look at our site. Boom. We have a much more professional looking site than we did just a few minutes ago. Look at that. That looks much better. We have a nice menu up here. We have a nice title. We have a nice custom header and then we have our text. Now let's go ahead and talk about how to either eliminate this sidebar completely or to adjust it a little bit. There are all these things here that make it look like a blog. We got recent posts, recent comments, archives. These are the kinds of things you're going to see on the sidebar in a blog. You know, personally, 
I don't like sidebars. If you like sidebars, you can leave it there and you can customize it. But I'm gonna show you how to totally eliminate it for now. So go ahead back to your dashboard. So we will go to pages on the left and then we'll click all pages. And then we'll click on our home page here. Now over here under template, we are using the default template right now, which is the template you have seen. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change it to the front page template. And that's gonna get rid of the sidebar for me. And that's fine with me because I don't like the sidebar. And with the front page template, I can also add a couple widgets at the bottom of the page. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to click update. And then I'm going to go check it out again and see what it looks like. And here's what it looks like without a sidebar. I like that much better, but that's just my personal opinion. If you don't like it, you don't have to do it that way. And since we're talking about the sidebar, I guess I will go ahead and show you quickly how to customize it to your own liking. So go back to your dashboard. Let's go back to our page and we will click on it and change our template back to the default template and click update. Then it will look like it did look with the sidebar. Now we're going to hover over appearance on the left and then go to widgets. Now, all these things over here on the left are the things that are in your sidebar. I don't like meta in my sidebar, so I'm just going to drag it out over here. I don't like categories in my sidebar, so I'm going to drag it out. I don't like archives. Uh, recent comments is kind of cool and recent posts is okay. So I'll leave those things there. So there we go. Now our sidebar will look like this. It will have a search bar, it will show our recent posts, and it will show our most recent comments. These two things here, we have the first front page widget area, which is a small area at the bottom of the page. Let me show you where that would be. It'll be right down here at the bottom of your home page, right where the comment box is. So there'll be a, there's an area here, and there'll be an area over here that you can put content in. Widgets. It's content that you can put in your site's footer. So back to the dashboard, back to widgets. Now, now one other thing I want to point out about widgets is there are a ton to choose from. You can um, put in this widget and it'll show you how much spam that Akismet has caught. You can have a calendar. You can have your blog subscriptions. Uh, and actually, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool, actually. This will allow people to subscribe to your posts. Uh, so I would say subscribe to my site for the widget title. And then there's some optional text. I'm just gonna leave what's in there for now. And then we will let it make a button. And then we won't bother showing our total number of subscribers because right now we don't have hardly any. Actually, we don't have any. So I'm gonna uncheck that because I don't wanna look terrible. And I'm gonna click save. And then I'm gonna go back to my homepage and see what it looks like. Okay, here's what we have. We have our search bar. We have our recent posts. And there's a post in there that WordPress just includes automatically. Um, recent comments, we have a comment that WordPress puts in there automatically. And then we now have this subscribe to my site. And, and this is cool. This is a feature of Jetpack, the plugin that I taught you how to install in my second or third video. I'm gonna go ahead and subscribe to my own site here. Subscribe. And now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get an email at this email address. All I have to do is click the link to confirm my subscription. And this is what users will see on your site. It's pretty darn cool. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna show you is how to set up your page without the sidebar, like I did earlier, because I just don't like the sidebar. So I'm gonna click edit page here. I could go back to my dashboard and then go back to a, and then go to my pages and then click the page and then click edit. But I can just go on edit page right here. And it'll take me to edit this page and I'm going to choose front page template. What this is going to do is take away my sidebar, but it will give me the option to put two widgets in the footer. And this is what I was telling you earlier. I'll hover over appearance on the left here and then click on widgets. And then I'm going to open these widget areas down here, the second front page widget area and the first front page widget area. And I'm going to put my blog subscriptions in here and I'm gonna put my search in here. And now let's go look at the front page and see what it looks like. Now there's no sidebar, which I like, and the search bar is still here. 
there's also a place where people can subscribe to your site. I like this better. Some of you may not like it at all. Personally, I think it's more appealing. To sum up what we learned today, we learned how to make a cool custom header and we learned how to get rid of the sidebar completely or edit it in whichever way we want to edit it and we learned how to use the optional front page template and have two footer areas that we can uh, customize in a lot of different ways. Remember, there are a lot of different widgets we can put in those two footer areas. One that I really like a lot is just a standard uh, text widget. Uh, you just put your text in there and then you can write um, some stuff in a text box. You can put links in it. There are all sorts of other widgets you can put in your footer. Try them out. See what they look like. See if you like them. You're going to have to experiment a little to get your site to look just how you want it to look. I appreciate you watching this video. I hope you learned a few things. Please subscribe and the next video will be coming soon, so stick around. Also, if you have any ideas or questions, post them in the comments section and that may inspire me to make a new video answering your question. So, thanks again.